Good morning, this is Tony Chernowski, manager of the Practical Investor LLC. Today is May the 20th, 2010. And the topic for the day is a progress report on the broadening top. This video is meant for instruction and entertainment purposes only. This is not a solicitation to buy or sell any security. A purchase or sale of a security may result in a loss of principal. Please consult with an expert advisor who may explain the risks of any investment you may consider. You cannot invest directly in an index. Well, good morning, and I just thought I'd bring things up to speed on what's going on. I am doggedly following the broadening top formation, and as you will see on the charts, the pattern is playing out precisely as uh, indicated by the textbook. This is a textbook case uh, of a broadening uh, top formation, which is a, uh, a topping, a major topping formation, and there's more yet to come. So let's take a look at the charts and, uh, and uh, give it uh, a, a good looking at. So here we go. Um, we have the Dow Industrials, and uh, what you can see here is that there actually isn't just one broadening formation. There are actually three broadening formations. And what we saw on the May 6th flash crash is a, is a textbook play out of the smallest broadening formation uh, in green on the chart here, uh, which calls for a 10% decline once the lower trend line is broken. Now, um, I have to admit that I had called for a slightly lower decline than this. Uh, I had called for a decline down uh, below 9,800, and instead we stopped at 9,869, which is just uh, 34 points shy of the uh, February 5th low. Now, many people think that because we didn't take out the February 5th low, that the uptrend is still intact. I beg to differ, and I want to explain very carefully here that the broadening formation is a topping formation. Once the broadening formation uh, is underway, there is no going back to higher highs. Um, one of the other things that I just want to say is that once uh, the, uh, the rebound rally came back up, it, it uh, bounced off the lower trend line of the smallest broadening formation, and now we are heading down in uh, what Elliott Wave would consider to be a Wave 3 decline. Now, let's talk about targets for a minute. Uh, there's a couple of targets here uh, that I'd like to uh, uh, point out to you. The first one uh, is the, the, the bottom trend line at 92.50, but the chances are very good that uh, if there is a bounce, it'll be very minor, that this decline will continue to fall below the lower red trend line. Uh, that gives us a range, by the way, of, of five. The, the broadening top calls for a five to 10% decline below uh, that broad, the lower trend line of the broadening formation. And we're talking here a range of 83.50 to let's call it 87.50 uh, in the next decline. Uh, I want to say that this next decline it can be very quick. It could actually take just about a week or so to finish. Uh, as the first decline was very, very swift, uh, this next one will also be very quick as well. This is going to be what you might call a waterfall decline, not a cascade the way we saw back in the fall of, of uh, 2008. The, um, the one thing that I want to point out, by the way, is this first flash crash occurred um, one day beyond my target date, which was May the 5th, for uh, a, a major cyclical bottom. So one of the things that I want to point out here is that our next cyclical bottom uh, will probably be in the early part of June, and uh, I'm not going to specify dates or times. I just want to let you know that there's probably about three weeks of decline here. And, uh, and as I said, we're talking about a waterfall and not just a, uh, a fast moving stream. So uh, buckle on your seat belts. This thing is gonna be a, a rough ride uh, and uh, uh, probably something that you will uh, write uh, and talk to your grandchildren and, ch and children about uh, at some time in the future because this one is going to be what I would call the mother of all declines. 
Um, I just want to invite all of you to uh, subscribe to the Inner Circle newsletter that I put out to my subscribers. I don't want to give away all the information. I just want to give you some basics here, but uh, we'll be following it blow by blow. Uh, we have a special offer of $50, uh, which pays through uh, July the 15th. This will get us well into the decline period. Uh, if you haven't a clue of what's going on, this will be very, very helpful. Uh, as a matter of fact, I have many advisors and other market timers and newsletter writers that uh, subscribe to my service as well. So this is something for prof that is professionally uh, uh, oriented, but it should help to um, keep you up to date on what's going on with the markets. So $50 pays you through uh, the middle of July. Uh, and from there, uh, I'll leave it up to you whether you want to renew or not. But uh, uh, you can contact me uh, to t uh, discuss the newsletter at uh, Tony C at thepracticalinvestor.com. That's my email address. Or you can go to thepracticalinvestor.com. Uh, there's a tab that says Contact Us. And simply uh, click there and fill in the details and just put newsletter, please, or something along that line on, on the message board, and I'll be glad to respond to you. So have a great morning. I hope things uh, work out well for you. And by all means, please do the right thing. Thanks for listening to my message.